our next shape we're going to take a look at is a rectangular pyramid. It's just a regular pyramid, things that we're used to seeing in the Egyptians. So we're taking a look at what its net is going to be, as well as number of faces, number of vertices, and number of edges. You'll notice the bottom is a square or rectangular shape, and you have four triangle sides. So let's take a look at it. As you see the shape rotating around, you'll see that it has a pinnacle at the top, four sides, triangles. If I click on number of faces, they will light up. Take a second, count them, verify that yes, there are five. You have four sides and the base, which is five. If I take a look at the vertices, click at those, there are five. Four on the bottom, one at the top. Number of edges. Click on the edges. If you count the bottom, I have four on the bottom and four going on an angle upward. Gives me a total of eight. Now let's take a look at the net. Take my pyramid, split it open, and you'll get a star design. There's your base, and then you have your pieces from there. What you are going to do for me when you make a net of a rectangular pyramid is this. Your base needs to be 2 by 2. So it will look like this. Now, how long should these be? Well, long enough so that when you fold them up, they all four join together at a pinnacle at the very top. Minimum is the base must be 2 by 2. And then you'll have to do a little figuring out on your own, a little trial and error to draw and figure out where these should be. It should make sense that it should be in line, that the top vertex should be in line with the center of the base. So keep that in mind when you go to draw it. Put your name on the net first, the net, the flat 2D object, cut it out, fold it up, tape it together, set it on my desk. When we do rectangular pyramids, we're only going to take a look at the volume formula. Uh, the, surface area the, the surface area formula is a bit more involved, plus it's not on our yellow formula sheet. It is simply this. It's a little confusing, but once you understand what it's asking for, it really is not that bad. V, volume. Remember volume? We are counting the number of cubes that fit in an object, filling the object up. One third, one over three times area of the base, and I'll get to that in a second, times the height. Now the three shouldn't be that uh, strange to us because triangles have three sides, so it makes sense that that fits in somehow. Volume equals one third. Now it's times area of the base. The base is a rectangle, and yes, squares count as rectangles, length times width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the formula times length times width, but understanding that this is of the base times the height. Drop in here on our homework paper. What do we do? We take the formula, substitute it in variables, use order of operations, and we're done. V equals one-third times length times width is seven times five times height in this case is twelve. Parentheses first, one-third times thirty-five times twelve. One third times thirty five times twelve. One fraction three times twelve times thirty five equals one hundred forty cubes. We're not going to do surface area, just volume. Looks complicated, it isn't. One third times area of the base times height. Time to work backwards. Take my formula, volume equals one-third times area of the base times height. Area of the base is a rectangle, so we can also use length times width. If 
My picture is this, 15 by 6. It's not drawn to scale, so it looks a little off. The volume already is figured out to be 210 cubes. So that is my answer. What we want to know is what is the height. I'm going to take my formula, substitute in things I know. One third times the length. Longer piece would be 15 times 6 times. I don't know what h is, so I'm going to leave it as a variable. I do know what v is. v equals the number 210, so I can substitute that in right now. Once I substitute everything in, I want to combine terms. Shrink my equation down so I'm not looking at a bigger picture. This is all multiplied. So I would do parentheses. This is 1 third times uh, 6 times 15. 6 times 15 equals 90. Times h equals 210. Next line down. I can multiply. 1 third times 90 is 30. Times h. So it boils down to, I need to get rid of the multiplied number. I need to get rid of a multiplied 30. What is the reciprocal of 30 over 1? 1 over 30. 1 over 30. 30 crosses off up top, 30 crosses off underneath, I'm left with h. h. 30 divided by 31, 3 goes into 21 70 times. 7 times 30 is 210. 7, not 70. So I end up with 7. My label is not cubes because I already know my volume is 210 cubes. What I'm trying to figure out is how tall is this object. So my answer should be 7. 7 tall. Working backwards. Combine first. Get rid of any multiplied numbers that are there. That's it.